Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Andrew, and we are the IB English Guys. Folks, today we have an exciting topic to present to you. We want to talk about artificial intelligence and how students and teachers can leverage artificial intelligence to be more powerful in the classroom. What's the scenario we want to talk about today, Mr. Giles? Today we want to talk about reading comprehension. We want to think about how we oftentimes students are asked to read independently and go home and, and interact with the text, and it, it's difficult. We want the students to engage actively and work on their active reading comprehension. That's right, Mr. Giles. We know that when kids go home, sometimes they're frustrated. We believe that leveraging artificial intelligence as a personalized learning tutor can help kids with their reading comprehension, help them acquire knowledge, so when they actually go back into the classroom, they can engage in applications, synthesis, analysis, evaluation, all those rich conversations we want to have. So that's why AI is so powerful at home. I love that, a personal learning assistant, someone to help us with our reading. It's not a shortcut to not reading, it's, a, it's actually to, to teach us to actively read. Now, Mr. Giles, when we think about our context, we'd like to show a, a use case now. Uh, we asked our students to read Antigone, uh, that served the purposes for our IB English class, uh, but we know going home and reading the prologue in episode one is challenging. Mr. Giles, can you talk a little bit about the reading process we wanted the kids to go through uh, in this experience? Yeah, we asked the students, again, to go home, to read the text, to listen to the text while they're reading. We had, our, we had an audio recording of the play. We thought that was super useful. And while they were reading, we asked them to jot down some questions. It's so important. One thing to improve our reading comprehension is to do just that, ask questions. So write down questions in the margins. Think about what's important. That is what we needed to, to do first then we can engage with ChatGPT. Well, Mr. Giles, invariably, as you're reading, questions occur. It happens to me as an adult reader. So we want our students to pause and engage with ChatGPT when they have a question. Uh, Mr. Giles, let's look at the prompt we engineered for our students now. What do you see? Okay, uh, I, what I see, let me just read it aloud. I'm a high school IB English student. My teacher asks us to read, analyze, and interpret the prologue and episode one of Antigone. I have some questions about the text. Can you please tell me what do you notice about the prompt? Yeah, I noticed, important. I noticed several things about the prompt. Firstly, I noticed that the user of AI has identified themselves. I am a high, high school IB English student. We must establish some parameters for the bot, right? Uh, we also noticed the words read, analyze, and interpret. So that gives the AI some insight into what we're aiming for. Uh, and then sort of, uh, can you please tell me? We need that direct c command, tell me. Uh, we like to put in please because we're nice guys. You are a nice guy, yeah. And and I think there's we've had some real success with this. So it's been amazing to see what kids have done. So let's look at it as an example now of, of from Antigone. What, what I see first is that the student is asking a question at about the backstory of what happened between these two brothers. It's so important when we read something that we understand the context. What, what happened before this play started and this question of the, the burial and, the, and the, this, the story of these two brothers is vital to understanding. Sure. So I, I noticed that, yes, ChatGPT has given the student a really brief explanation of that key important background information. I like how the student said, please tell me the story in an easy way, be brief. Obviously, the goal here for the student is to engage in their homework, but they cannot effectively complete that homework until they get that background, that backstory. Uh, so they're going to ask for that in an easy way so they can get that bit of knowledge, then keep going forward into their learning. That really is personalized learning. That's right. And the, our second example is about the burial and this idea of Greek burials and, how, and why burials are so important to Greek culture. This is a good question that students asking. I see some thinking just in the question. And then it's asking the, the bot to give us an answer. Yeah, that. Mr. Giles, you know, when we think about the importance of burial for Greek this Greek tragedy, our students in 2023, 2024, we're not armed with that knowledge. So this is, again, is very helpful to talk about something that contextually doesn't make sense for us. Folks, in the end, we hope that this video shows you that if you want to actively engage with ChatGPT or the AI of your choosing, students can actually deepen their knowledge and their comprehension. This puts teachers and students in a powerful position because when they walk into their next class, they're armed with knowledge, they're armed with understanding, and collectively, face-to-face -face with their peers and teacher, they can reach greater depths of understanding. We hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope this gave you some value and some knowledge. Come back for the next video. We'll talk about what we do post-reading. Thanks for joining and see you next time. Thanks, guys.